Eric Holder, first of all, is, is a weakling. Second of all, he has already opined that these, uh, these people ought to be subject to prosecution. Third of all, the president knows this. He has flat out thrown the people who, who wrote these memos under the bus. You think they got up one morning and said, let's half a dozen of us write some interrogation memos. They were asked for their legal opinion about what they could do and what they could not do. And if you look at the details of this, they were as much concerned about safeguards and safety and what they could not do as they were what they could do. As people were trying to devise techniques because they had the most serious leaders among the the most bloodthirsty people that they had to deal with. Now the president is totally throwing these people who wrote these memos under the bus, and he gives his opinion that sounds like nothing more than just kind of one man's opinion that the people who carried out these interrogations should not be prosecuted. His opinion means nothing. I mean, that's his wish. How many wishes does a president have? He is not taking a stand for these people, not any of them, and throwing half of them totally under the bus. Support bipartisan congressional hearings. When is the last time you saw a bipartisan congressional hearing? You probably weren't born the last time there was a bipartisan congressional hearing. The only good thing that would come out of it is that you'd have to swear members of Congress in under oath to admit that they encourage the use of these techniques that they're being totally hypocritical about now.